was a uh, Friday morning um, day just before the uh, before the hurricane and I really haven't slept too much in the last few days between my back and the hurricane maybe getting a few hours here and there and I'm getting nervous obviously uh, but I just kind of got to keep like keep prepping keep moving keep you know doing what I got to do and uh, you know, just suck it up and, and get through it. Um, you know, the, in my family, they always say, fake it till you make it. And so, uh, you know, I'm going to fake it until I make it and we're going to get through it and it's going to be good. Um, a lot of preparations going on. Uh, as you saw yesterday, I was uh, taking the screens out, closing everything up. Today, I'm going to be putting towels down in front of uh, like one of my uh, balcony doors. And um, I'm actually going to make like a little safe room. I am actually scheduled for work. Um, it is Friday, so nothing is actually happening today. Uh, my work is on the beach. I do work at a hotel on the beach. Um, so maybe go over there and help some last minute odds and ends. I'm sort of on standby with my uh, with my manager, and um, you know I'll just just uh, just wait. And uh, again, today is not really too much going on except some last minute prep. Um, so, so yeah, um, the other thing is, uh, I belong to an amazing, um, Facebook group, uh, for DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, again, you know me, I, I like my techie stuff. And, um, I, I was starting to have a little mini freak out because I just realized, oh my God, I do not have enough portable chargers. Well, I, I realized it yesterday and honestly, at this point it's, kind of hard to get uh, portable chargers. So uh, I, I put a post out to my, my Mavic group and I said, hey guys, can I use my batteries as a portable charger? So take a look at this. I mean, I am so stoked. Uh, they helped me to realize this is the, the little uh, piece that I need. Um, and through this, I'm going to be able to charge, hopefully, my phone uh, maybe up to three times uh, for each battery. So I have three batteries. So I'm feeling uh, a lot better about my portable charger situation um, because I only have one. I have a really good one. Um, uh, my my travel one I couldn't couldn't find so yeah it is what it is um, I mean at this point we just have to hope that we we have everything that we need and uh, I just want to show you I I know yesterday I was showing you the boat that was concerning me I just want to show you like the amazing job that uh, that the guys did actually um, strapping it up all right so I'm out with the boat um, and I just I really want to show you guys this um, they they did like they did a freaking amazing job. It's completely strapped up. Um, they even got it all the way down. Like, I mean, it's like drilled straight into the ground, like concrete. I mean, I'm feeling way better about this situation. So we have a feral cat at my work, um, my little lovely Sandy, uh, you know I have Ollie, but uh, Sandy's actually very special to everyone that I work with. Um, she is a feral cat, so unfortunately we're not gonna take her with us. However, um, we are gonna set up supplies for her and um, I'm getting ready to take her over a litter box um, so we can hold her up somewhere and um, hopefully she'll be all right. Believe it or not, a feral cat. This is Sandy, and um, she's sort of like our mascot at the, at my work. We love her, but she's still feral. But we do love her, so we have a a plan of attack for her. So I'm I'm here with my coworker Greg, and um, we. Well, he was the last shift. I thought I was going to have to come in today, although I am here now. Um, I thought I was going to be dressed and maybe ready to go so how you feeling good kind of feels as a weird like last day of school feel right now but uh 
everything, all the guests are checked out. Sandy's safe and sound. Um, my house is all ready, so I'm just ready for it to happen. See what happens. What do you think? What do you think the damage is going to be? I don't think it's going to be anything catastrophic. I think that's how, how far thing. in are you? I'm, I'd say, 15 minutes in. So trees will fall, power will go out, we'll lose water, but everyone will be fine. All right, that makes me feel a lot, lot better. So I'm just taking kind of one last look at um, where I work, and uh, looks pretty tightened down. Um, wind's already starting to kick up a little bit. So they've been telling us to prepare for the worst. So I finished my safe room and I've got my stuff for my cat. Um, I've got uh, blankets and um, I got blankets and uh, towels. I've got paper towels, toilet paper, I even have a, um, a piss pot, <laughs> and I uh, got food, we, I even, I don't know if we would have to use it, but, um, I have a, a butane stove in here, the room that I'm actually standing in, it is a closet, but it originally was, uh, built as, uh, as an elevator shaft, so it's, it's very well, uh, protected, so I'm, I mean, hopefully I don't have to use it, but, um, you know, the instruction was to prepare for the worst, so I'm preparing for the worst. <laughs> and then the other thing that I, uh, that I did, and thanks actually to my friend, um, Anna, she has supplied me with, um, tons of ice, so we got cold drinks in the, in the laundry machine, which is great because, uh, you know, it's it's gonna hold all the water and then drain off as it um, as it's done. So I'm kind of excited about that one. So we got that filled with ice and water. Um, the everything else is pretty much stocked as far as food. Uh, just a couple of last minute things. Uh, my mother just invited me to dinner, although I don't I don't know if anything's gonna be open tonight. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit better than I was earlier. Um, I'm still preparing for the worst, but, um, you know, my, my, uh, emotions go up and go down and go up and go down and I cry and I'm happy and I'm just, I'm all over the place. So, um, I don't know. I just, you know, hope and pray that, uh, that all my loved ones and friends and family and even people I don't know are all safe and, um, and well prepared. All right. So I still have some concerns left. Um, I was just looking at the balconies for my neighbors, uh, it's probably too bright for you to see, but, um, my neighbors, uh, they still have, they still have, uh, furniture on their balcony and those pretty much are going to become missiles. So that's definitely one concern. My other concern is, um, they, they haven't emptied the pool. I don't know if they're supposed to empty the pool, but the pool is very full. That's a concern. The concern is um, there's there's not a lot of parking. There's people parked here, and I'm not sure whose cars they are. Um, but that means that my friend cannot park in a somewhat safe area. So I'm hoping that the the neighbors will be okay with um, with her parking in the in the back because I would normally have her park up right against the garage. But because of the boat, um, I don't think that's a good idea. The noise was outside. Wow, they're still collecting uh, trash and stuff. That's amazing. Um, wow, man, they, these guys are working hard. I really hope that they got their um, really hope that they got their houses uh, and families ready. But um, wow, I can't believe they're working. like a massive 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 storm I know some of my friends have decided to go west and I'm thinking maybe that was a bad idea um, so I just wish everybody uh, 
safety um, and prayers for everyone. Mm-hmm.